in the forest in Burlington County, contractors labor to cut down nearly 1,000 trees. These are the trees that have been uh, taken down. and they're So far, ready. trees in 26 municipalities in eight counties have been infested by the southern pine beetle, a creature about the size of a grain of rice, tiny but deadly, killing pine trees after they've settled in the bark. They originate in the southern part of the country and were first spotted in New Jersey in 2001. Last year, 7,000 acres of pine trees were destroyed by the beetles. Ron Corkery, the Southern Pine Beetle Project Manager for the State Forestry Services, says the problem hasn't improved. We have, uh, you know, phenomenal colonies, and when they, they literally come through areas, they uh, come through like a wave, uh, and it, you know, will impact those trees that are weakened and stressed. We need to maintain healthy uh, forest and sustainable forest. Uh, and the way you do that and prevent the pine beetle from having uh, a good foothold in any one area is to create an area that does not have weak trees. Uh, weak trees are trees that are primed for the pine beetle to infest. And once they get in that area, as you can see, they create devastation. Under the supervision of the Department of Environmental Protection, contractors in four areas throughout South Jersey are cutting down infested trees and several others that are close by and most susceptible to the beetles. The agency identifies infested areas with surveillance planes that fly through the region three times a week and a team on the ground who look for the obvious sign, discoloration. That's a stain that comes from the infestation. The mild winter hasn't helped. The colder winter will uh, kill some of the beetles. Uh, the fact that we really have not had a winter this year, and in fact it's been very mild, uh, we're expecting to see larger infestation problems as a result of that. The beetles are hard to spot because they're embedded in the bark. We have the trails on the inside of the bark which have been infested with the pine beetle throughout all these areas. Another reason the southern pine beetle may be so comfortable in the Garden State. The bark of our pine trees here in New Jersey seems to be thicker and seems to create more of an environment to allow these beetles to continue to thrive. About $365,000 in federal grant money is available through the state DEP to municipalities and homeowners who are battling the bug. The DEP has just begun work in four other areas in South Jersey, removing infested trees along with trees that have not yet been affected by the pine beetle. For NJ Today, I'm Lauren Wonko in Green Bank.